welcome back let's um, go to the eclipse once again so here is the our uh, main class that is uh, our, our project uh, that is test java and uh, test underscore java and here is our main class that is um, abc and uh, here is our main method also now in this video we will uh, see the working of the constructors in java so since java is pure ops and uh, for support the object oriented programming system then their class and object uh, plays the most important role in the code or source so here uh, the since the class obje and object uh, is the main uh, is in main role so there must be a constructor also in the main role so let's say the constructor in java we have uh, two types of constructors that is one default constructor and uh, another one is parameterized constructor uh, first of all going to the constructor uh, let's uh, see what constructor does actually constructor uh, is the special member function because its name is same as the name name of class name and it says uh, some more features like uh, it is automatically called when object uh, is created it uh, helps in object creation it is provides the uh, space memory space for the variables and functions of the class and uh, a constructor doesn't have any return type even not even void and constructor mm, cannot be final or static in nature it's, hence uh, these are some features of constructor so let's make a class in um, another package since we have already go through the package so let's create a, another package here I have right click uh, right click on the project that is test underscore java and package explorer window now we will uh, go to the new and uh, choose package so as soon as i click package it asks for the name of the package so let's uh, give a name to the package and that is uh, let's name it pack again now leave the uh, everything as it is and click finish as uh, I have clicked finish uh, in test uh, in src folder that is the source folder for our test java project one package is created here now we have to take a class inside the package pack so I will right click on the pack not on the test java or uh, any other folder so I will right click on package that is pack or package folder so I will right click on the pack and uh, go to new and then I will choose class now here I will uh, write the class name that um, maybe <laughs> let's name this uh, class as CLS again that's my favorite class name so since uh, in the package uh, pack we are creating the web first class so we can we can make this class only public or abstract or final also but we will uh, see the abstract and final classes later here we will we can make only public because we cannot make private or protected these classes so i will um, click on the finish button and uh, it will create a another class that is cls inside another package that is pack here is the our default package that is test underscore java and that is the, uh, inside our source folder also uh, as you have seen the package in notepad also and here is the another class that is cls in another package that is pack now let's make the constructor once one constructor here so constructor name is must be name of the class and constructor is a method so there must be opening and closing parentheses and constructor does not support any return type so we will leave the return type as blank or we will write nothing in the return statement so here we can this is our default constructor because uh, we have we, we are not providing any argument list to the constructor so in comment uh, i can write default default c dot that is this uh, short short form for constructor c dot so here uh, i am writing system dot dot printable since 
this uh, spelling of the system was wrong that's why code hinting was not working uh, now probably code work code hinting will work uh, so here um, we can write uh, um, this is let's make a program not only printing uh, message so let's create a two variable here a b a and b and now here uh, we can write fine and this is default constructor and default constructor we are we have written enter value for a and b and now we can enter take input from the user so um, for taking input as we have already seen we have a scanner class so we have to make a scanner in class object so let's write a scanner in equal to new a scanner system dot in here system is the class and in is the we can say in is the object of the system class that is opening the uh, input stream for the uh, scanner class so here we have to import java dot util package because uh, scanner class is inside the util package so here we can uh, take the input uh, input in a and b so i will write a equal to in dot next string similarly b equal to in dot next string here we go and now i will create a another constructor so it must be name as cls and here we will i will pass the to integer type argument to the CLS so let's uh, write the argument list int y int x and int y now this constructor is parameterized constructor so Java has two types of constructor one is default constructor and one is parameterized constructor so here one more thing is important here Bec uh, look uh, in the previous all programs we were not creating any constructor for the class but uh, still we are we were able to create the object of the class and we were we were calling the functions methods of the class using object so since the, uh, for normal object creation default constructor is called or a default constructor runs since this constructor is default so you can omit or skip the uh, definition of the constructor in your source file like uh, if you are writing writing class 4 means it is the positive in nature 4 is positive number or you can write only 4 this again this also is a positive number so default thing or default uh, whatever is the default you can write or omit so you can write the default constructor in your source code uh, that will help in the creation of your obje uh, object for the class or you can omit the default constructor but mind you when you are creating a constructor having parameter more than one or one par one or one more than one parameter then you are bound to de uh, define the default constructor also because when you uh, you create a object of the CLS class the uh, the compiler will look for the matching uh, matching constructor inside the class CLS so if you you create a object uh, passing two integer type value this will call this uh, parameterized constructor or you can simply make a normal object this will call this default constructor so uh, let's uh, see here it's a parameterized constructor so it's parameterized constructor and the uh, parameter passed uh, to the con to this constructor let's uh, pass that value to a and b so i have written a equal to 
x and b equal to y so here uh, is the two constructor and uh, in default constructor we are taking input uh, in a and b and in parameterized constructor we are passing the value to a and b now mm, i will make another method show method that will show the value for the a and b or that will print the value of a and b so, so i have written system dot out dot print ln and here inside parenthesis we will put double quotes and we will write um, value of a equal to A. Similarly, we can print the value of B also. Uh, I will copy paste the code here and here I will write B. So uh, now let's come to the main method. In main method, we want to access these functions or constructors in the main method. Since uh, this CLS class is inside the package pack, so we will have to import the package here. So we do not need to import a scanner class. So uh, I will import import pack dot. Since pack has only one class that is CLS, and it's uh, showing here. So we can write CLS also, or uh, if uh, there may be more than one class in package folder, so we, we can write a strict also. So I have imported the CLS class in our main pro main project file. So now I can make the object of CLS CLS let's c1 equal to new CLS. Now let's make another class another object sorry object here c2 equal to new cls and inside the this constructor we will pass the two value two integer value that is 10 and 20 uh, error is showing because uh, we have we have not uh, declared the uh, cls class as public sorry it's public so let's check the error constructor cls is not visible let's make another constructor also public as i, uh, I have already said that uh, we have to put the access specifier for each and every statement in java so we will put these constructors as public now we can uh, we can access these objects here in main method now in this line default constructor will be called because uh, we are not passing any parameter value and in this line default uh, parameterized constructor will be called because we are passing two integer type of value 10 and 20 so 10 and 20 will be assigned 10 will be assigned in a and 20 will be assigned in b going through the these parameter variables so here since we have created a parameterized constructor so we have to create a uh, default parameter because if if you do not define the default constructor here and you try to make this c1 object you using default uh, constructor it will not work but if you if you have not created any parameterized constructor in your program you can easily make any object using default constructor so that is the basic difference between default constructor and parameterized constructor let's now uh, check the value of a and b with c1 and c2 objects so uh, i have write uh, i have written c1 dot so again so should be public it will say so is not visible because it's not public so make it public now here everything is fine now we will run this run our program 
and it's uh, since in very first line uh, we have uh, called the default uh, constructor so it will ask for the value for the a and b so i have entered 1 and 2 and uh, in the second statement 10 and 20 will be passed in a and b so it's uh, using c1 the value of a or b shows 1 and 2 that we have entered and using c2 the value of a and b is, uh, is displayed here 10 and 20 that is that we have passed here so mm, here uh, for c1 default constructor is running and for c2 parameterized constructor is running but uh, still uh, if you notice we have created only two variables that is one a and b so in a very simple logic if you think um, we can store any two variable uh, integer variable one integer variable in a and one integer variable in b but here we can easily see that we are storing the actually four integer variable in the two variable only what happens here when we make when we execute this statement the a and b is declared by the cls object using new operator for the c1 so here uh, two memory block will be mm, uh, created inside the in the ram of the memory ram, ram of the computers and uh, that will refer uh, that address will be referred to the c1 object so c1 has its own a and b and c2 has its own a and b so here a and b works different for the different variable means uh, the conclusion is that will the every um, variable in java or in any programming language uh, uh, works uh, different or creates multiple copy for the different vari uh, object of the class that's why the their different variable values is displayed here until and unless those variables are, are um, class variables look any variable of method that is um, not a static in nature that is instance variable means we can access that variable or members instance member means any method or any variable that is not a static in nature that is instance member or sta instance variable or instance vari uh, methods so instance means object so we can mm, call that uh, functions or that variables using object but any um, variable or method that is static in nature that is class variable so class variable is another thing uh, because it's a static in nature it doesn't work with different or multiple makes multiple copy for the another object because you cannot call the static variable using object in next video we'll see the static um, members in very detail so let's say uh, here is the our constructors and how constructor works and in java destructor doesn't exist means uh, java doesn't uh, give the memory management to the programmer because java jvm automatically calls for the garbage collection whenever the it requires since uh, what happens in the memory when we uh, execute this line cl cls c1 so here c1 will be uh, c1 object will be created and uh, for c1 a, a memory for the a and b that is the variable in our class will be created and that memory block will be released only when this c1 object will goes out of a scope or this c1 object will destroyed so the objects uh, normally gets out of a scope when it when the execution comes out of the uh, uh, local block to the C1 like C1 is created inside the main block that is, this is the main block from opening parenthesis to closing parenthesis when our execution reaches here after this uh, parenthesis uh, sorry curly bracket then C1 will be destroyed or C2 similarly C2 will be destroyed so Java doesn't provide the uh, uh, memory management control to the programmer or user its JVM automatically runs the garbage collection whenever it's required so let's um, move to our next video